Welcome guys, this is Igloba Design. I'm going to teach you how I made this, this beautiful photo manipulation with Photoshop. Okay, so this is my Photoshop file. This is the finished work of what we have here. So I'll come over to this place and click new. So when I click my new, I'll just name it new design. And I'll click OK. So after clicking OK I'll have my new layer so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to unlock this background I'm going to be very, very very quick about it then I'll come over to my file and bring in my tools so first of all I'll bring in the background which I'll be using I already made the background ready to save time so what I'm going to do is to place the background inside this design so when I come to my desktop I will go to the place I get my file where the resources are so I'll pick my background you can see I've already made this background available to save our time so this is the background we are going to be using this background for this design so I'm going to scale it up like this this is just a mixture of dark grey and white okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the images which I'll be using for for the design so I'll bring in this glass so I'm going to make use of layer max so that is one of the tools I'm going to make use of so in case you are asking how did I do this this is how I made this design okay so I'll scale it up like this and then I'll place my design so the next thing I'm going to do is to add a layer max on this glass so I'll do that by using my brush tool and I'll just clean off this why I'm doing this is to make sure what I'll be placing inside will be visible so that is why I'm doing this okay I'm applying this effect on it that is the work of layer marks. It helps to hide off the darker part and reveal the whiter part. Okay, that is the inner part of any design. So I'm done with this. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the next image, which is this image. Okay, so. I will be making use of transform so but I will place this inside inside this glass so you can you can see the reason why I I just use layer max for this uh, glass so what I will do is ctrl T is for select so these are the short spots you need to know in Photoshop so ctrl T is for select I come over to this place and place this like this so next thing I'm going to do is to come over to this place then I'll click warp this warp is to transform it to shape it in into the object which I want to place it in okay so I'll just drag it over to this place and drag and I'll just drag I'll just drag this one over here okay and drag 
like this away okay so I think we're good to go with this I think we're good to go with this still need more retouching ctrl t for select so we can move it all all over inside the box okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to save my work okay It. okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this work okay and that's okay and I'm going to place it inside like this okay so I'm going to still make use of my layer marks too okay i'm going to make use of the layer marks too okay So by so doing, I'll come over to this place and use my my brush tool, and I will just wipe this off like this. I'll make sure I wipe it off. So this is the work of layer marks. This is the work of layer marks. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the next object in. I'll place this one over here. I'll bring in this this rainfall, okay? As as you can see, I have already worked on this image before I started placing them. So I will just click this. A good mark come over to this place and get this image then I'll place a good mark on it scale it up like this don't worry I'm gonna drop the video on how to remove backgrounds image backgrounds so you guys can know how to take off backgrounds from stocks image so I will bring this over to this place and I will take this ship on that here so it's gonna be it's coming from inside this glass okay so this is how you guys gonna I'm gonna place it I'm gonna take this here and this waterfall will be somewhere here okay. so the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in a particular image I'm gonna copy it from this place okay without wasting much time I'll come over to this place To where I have the image, this place, and I'm going to, I'm going to copy the image. Okay, I'm going to copy the image. Let me duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate the image. to 
to duplicate this image and so I'm going to bring this one over to this place scale it up by this and place it somewhere here okay I'm going to place this one somewhere here then make sure it's like close to the rainfall then I'm going to mark it good bring it down under the waterfall okay so this waterfall is going to be on it so what I'm going to do is to scale it up So it can tally with what I have here. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the other images. Come over to place. I get this image in. So I'm going to scale it like this. Okay. And just bring this over to this place. is good so the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the clouds and the beds okay I'm going to bring in this cloud and scale it up like this and place it somewhere here okay then I'm going to mark it good and then bring in the bed So graphic design is all about imagination and it's all about your inspiration on what you're doing. It's more than just creating a flyer. So I'll just place this here and that's it. So I'm going to give it a shadow too. So most of you are asking what can someone use for design. These are the tools very very important whenever you're finishing your designs you need to give it an active look so whenever you're displaying your designs it won't look so odd so this is the last effect I'll give this design and click OK then I'm going to place it under this so I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to place it under here too and scale it down like this so this is what we have here thanks for watching I want you guys to like my video, subscribe and watch, okay? Please do well to share for more creative and beautiful designs coming up. Thank you. Love you guys.